with very brief speeches. About four people or five who are going to say something in general, then we'll wind up with the PA chair. And I think to start us off is a class from one class principal, Mr. Ramisi. You have something to tell the parents? Mr. Ramisi is a teacher of maths and physics. And for whatever he's going to tell you, if your children don't get A's in maths in the year 2024, you can come for his neck. I know what he's capable of doing as a teacher, and he has the commitment to give you all those A's and deliver them. Tested and proven. Malibu Karibu. Where is the other mic? Thank you very much, our chief principal, our chief principal, the PA, the two deputies, our senior masters, colleague teachers, all the parents. Good morning. So I want to say thank you to our dear board because of giving me this uh, opportunity once again to stand before you. I'm humble and um, I feel honored when I hear very powerful words from our chief. I didn't know, but I've listened to him today. I want to say that I have nothing more to add because we have interacted in classes We've talked a lot in those particular classes. We've given your expectations, and we have even agreed on many things while we were in those meetings. So, dear parents, maybe just as an overall, I would like to inform all of you that uh, our expectations in your kids is very high. Already, we have set the bar, it is evident, it is written everywhere. We've engaged our super gear, and uh, I would like to report today here that there is much that we expect from your sons, which you've surrendered to us, to nurture for a period of four years. I want to inform you that based on their entry behavior, as at now, they stand at a B plane, that is roughly a mean of 9.0. When we looked at their entry behavior, that's the KCP mark, out of 500 multiplied by 12, it translates to a B plane. That is the starting point of your kids, based on that entry behavior. So a B plane, or 9, is a mean that we can surpass, and even go beyond if all of us join hands and ensure that we keep watch of the progress of our boys and in all aspects of their life within this institution. So as parents, that's where we are right now. And it is my prayer and belief that if you support our school, our programs, I've been challenged here that uh, if they miss to attain their dreams, then you come for my neck. I want to assure you not come for my neck, because we will deliver. We praise God for that. Let me say this, that uh, we would like you to support our programs wholesomely. We would like you to help us where we need your support, or where we need your input. For instance, we have a lot 
of activities that we normally engage in every day, even including the weekend. And uh, as distinguished parents, I would wish to say that uh, in our classes, we have already discussed about paying in an amount equivalent to 2,000 for every term, just to support those programs we have already documented to you while we were in those particular meetings. So that 2,000 shillings is not meant to make the teacher happy at all, but it's just for running the activities and affairs that will add value to this big plain mean that we have as it now. So there are so many things that we normally do. We have lunch quizzes, lunch briefs, and many other things that we incorporate in between outside the class or outside the teaching hours that we all know. And I want to believe that all of us have taken children to school, to various schools for that matter, and we know what it entails to get good results. We'll not get those good results if we do not cooperate together and move as a unit. We wish to move together and by prayer and with God's hand, we will all achieve. We've also informed you that uh, every term we require your input in terms of two dream papers. So every time your son comes to school, you support us. Because of the many quizzes, many cards, many rats that we normally give to our students, we need a lot of paper, and therefore, to just engage you, we would wish that you join the rest of the classes in giving us two reams of paper every term, all for purposes of ensuring that our boys are fit within this particular society. I would also like to tell you that uh, let us move politics out of school. I come from Busia County. Since 2006 when I started teaching, I've seen what is wrong with politics when it comes to school matters. So for the politicians who are here, I'm sorry, but I would wish and pray that you do not meddle politics with academic work. Don't. And that I would really emphasize. To wake a somebody, let us build these boys and do what is good for them. Because if we bring politics here, at the end of the day, a lot of wrangles up and down, blame games will arise, and we fail to achieve our target. But if we focus and do what other performing schools are doing, then we will be able to do it. Let me also inform parents that uh, we've created walls, WhatsApp walls, where we chat or talk about our progress of our children, where we channel our views. But I would also report here that some of us do not know the importance of this particular words. What is abusive language for? I can say confidently that all of us here have gone to school. Some have gone to school properly, and we understand. So quarrels, abusive language, that one does not help us anywhere. It has not helped anybody, and it will not help any other person anywhere. So I would pray and ask you that let us also mind the language when we are on these walls. Even when you are calling us at midnight, mind the tone of your voice, mind the language. We are also human beings, and by virtue of being teachers, we always accommodate everything. But you know it is not right to abuse a person who is also a leader somewhere. So let us know what to say when, and let us also know at what time we contact our class teachers and the rest of the teachers while they are undertaking their duties. We are available 24 hours, that is true, but let us know exactly at what time do we need to call and what language are we using. So I would wish that those who call us at midnight with abusive languages, please kindly be a human being 
and let us move forward to help these particular students. I would also ask that, uh, or remind, we have given you some pay bill number. That pay bill number, anything that is required in form of money that you need to pay to our school, that pay bill number will serve that purpose. You don't need to go to the bank to just pay 2000 You don't need to go to the bank to pay that school fees. Wherever you are, as long as you have the MPESA and you have our mobile numbers, that pay bill number will reduce the effort of moving up and down looking for banks in which you can pay in this money. This money is very important and we ask that let us cooperate and let us see to it that we do our part. We have also discussed about fee payment. It is our duty as parents to do so. Anytime you are stuck, anytime maybe you have not done this in time, kindly walk to school. Our gates are open and talk to us. Tell us how you intend to do so, so that at the end of the day, or during the stay of your boy here, none of them goes home just in search of school fees. Let us maintain them here, so that when you come for my head at the end of the day, I don't have excuses. So I was that. Yeah, I'm not lecturing, that's normally my tone, and that's how I speak. So if you offended, please, I am sorry, but that is how I talk. Yeah, I'm a resident of Busia, and I know what Busia needs. So we need really to pull up, and uh, we are a diverse society today. Let us use our diversity to improve the welfare of these boys and to ensure that they do a good job so that at the end of the day, he's a good ambassador to that family, you are home, and he's even a better person after all these years. So kindly parents, let us do our part. The teachers will do our part. And then as administrators also, we are going to do our part. And all of us, if we engage our super gears the way we've done already, we will be able to achieve something. May God bless you. And have safe journey masses when you go home. The boys are in safe hands. Maybe I was forgetting. If you don't see our calls, you don't see any communication from us concerning the welfare of your boy, just know that it's in safe hands. If there is a problem, we'll always contact you very fast at any time. So when you receive our calls, take heed of them and act upon them. I would wish now to say that Form 1 Red Parents, before you leave, have your newsletters. Together with your sons, we can just take five minutes and then you go to your various destinations. A call was made that suppose children are coming from Kakuma in Tukana, others from Mombasa, others from Migori, Kule Mwisho. What do we do? This is what we had as a school, that if they have cleared fees and they are coming from very far, we will accommodate them for these three days. May God bless you all. Thank you very much. You have spoken like a principal, correct? Yes. Lessening my burden, I will have very little to say. Voting master?